Greetings all, Ferrari Mount 601 here. Welcome back to Cold Waters. And it is time to return to the Persian Gulf and see if we can catch up with this Chinese task force that took out the late great USS Long Beach because, well, it seems like there is no substitute for big guns and big armor. We have got some things out here throughout the Gulf. However, we need some more information. Let us turn on the USS Iowa. All right, okay, we have got lots of stuff here. We've got a trawler, and then we have got Master 2, Master 3, and Romeo 7 through 9. They are definitely Chinese. Master 1, Master 4 are also Chinese. We've got Echo 10, whatever that is. Not sure yet. However, it would appear. Come right to. Two, and we have got some stuff nine, going on. Nine. We are going to get a vertical launch tube set up for TASM. Master 4 is 28,000 yards. Master 3 is 26,000 yards. Master 3 is this destroyer. Let's just open up with some surreptitious gun action before we do anything in terms of missiles. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. Ah, uh, yes, a 16-inch broadside. Who doesn't love that? Echo 10 has been upgraded to Master 10. Whatever Master 10 is. Oh, it's a little missile boat. Or a little torpedo boat. Whatever it is. As torpedoes are uh, underwater missiles. Gun slewing back out there for a second salvo. There we go. Oh, yes, that's so very pretty. Bridge, battery, guns on hold. Let's see if we can see. Yep. All right. Bye bye. Well, that was easy. He never even knew we were there. I was about to see if we can see fall of shot. Yes, we certainly can see fall of shot. Goodbye, torpedo boat. So Master 3 is going down. Where are we in relation to all of this? Okay. Master 4 is another little destroyer. Battery. Guns engaging. Go do it. All right. Turret three. It still has a little bit of latitude remaining. It's going to gain some more, I do think. Hold off on the guns for now. Let's see that wonderful fall of shot. Surely he's not feeling too good right about now, seeing his comrade. Oh, yep, he's hit. Goodbye. Okay, so they can all say beyond any shadow of a doubt now that they are in some serious trouble in this little task force. BLN, what do you do in response? They've got Master 2 here, this Luda, another destroyer, another torpedo boat. He is turning in our general direction. Do we really care? Nah, he's not much of a threat at the moment. Guns, do your thing. Bridge, battery, guns engaged. It's like just a forward salvo here.
We don't necessarily need all nine guns to take this guy out. Stand down the forward battery. Yep, he's opening up with his main guns. Puny little thing, whatever it is. Probably a five or six inch job. Now here splashes. That was our first salvo. More splashes coming in. Yep. Little bit off to port. All right. Forward battery, do your thing. Guns engaging. ourselves pre-positioned here so that we could get turret 3 back into the fight. Bridge, battery, guns on hold. His shot is coming nowhere near us, I do fear for his sake. Alright, we got a hit. He's hit twice. He's taken two 16-inch shells. He has got some serious damage above and below the waterline. He is going to be taking on water real quick. And he's got fire that is really involving the entire superstructure at this point. Yep, and that was the last of our salvo from that round. There we go, full broadside. Yep, he is severely down on power, and he's going to be in some serious trouble in a moment if he can't get those compartments isolated. That did not go so well. We are still engaging with our main battery. He is almost dead in the water though in terms of his propulsion situation. Ah, they're getting close. They are getting real close, but not quite close enough. Ah, 
Bye bye. Alrighty then. The rest of this task force is... They are making a beeline to the north for the most part. They obviously understand that they have done screwed up. Let's... See, you're 30,000 yards. That's this thing, which... Uh, huh. Not entirely sure what kind of ship this would be. It's, uh... Could be, a. An oiler, a small oiler. Obviously, uh, cargo of some sort could go on that big main deck. Has light armament and a helipad. No hangar, though. This thing is similar. So, uh, could you... Yeah, that's a landing ship. It's got the hatches there just in the bow. Obviously, that would be a pretty vulnerable spot. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. Let's get some gunfire out in their general direction. Just because we can. At the same time, a little TASM action never hurt anyone. Yeah. And there's another broadside going off. Fantastic. Pretty much full elevation on all three turrets. Aha, uh -huh. he's down. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was a whole lot easier than it really should have been. This guy, his teammate, oh boy. Uh -huh. He's not going to be feeling so hot right about now. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. Another 16 inch broadside, please. Yeah. That TASM is going to be going, hopefully, over to his little escort there in that mini formation that they were in. Second TASM. Fly free, my child. Just the sheer amount of firepower that you have available with this thing. It is biblical. Bridge, battery, guns on hold. It's like one of our TASMs has circled around and it's coming back to intercept this little thing. Little torpedo boat. Ah, he shot it down. The bastard shot it down. Lucky. He's 29,000 yards out. He is a little bit too far away for me to engage with guns reliably. This guy has got some 16 inch projectiles on the way. Yep, landing well short. only 34,000 yards out. <laughs> you can hardly blame him for missing. Fire got another couple TASMs on the way. Fire we got ships over here that are launching some chaff. 
Got a little torpedo boat. He's got his Sea Whiz going. Got some splashes from our gunfire. He's got Sea Whiz going over there. More chaff off. These guys just don't have much of a clue as to where to look next. All right, we got a TASM that came in and it's looping back around. This landing ship. Yep, there he is. He's doing a big circuit around everybody. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was almost a bad day for these guys. They're not really managing to deflect our missiles too bad. It's just kind of being overwhelmed by the proximity of each target relative to each other. This guy is kind of annoying me. He's just sitting out here minding his own business. He's 28,000 yards and he is way too small reliably to be engaging with guns. But this guy, yep, he's shooting him down. So they are effectively countering some of our missiles. That flew right over top. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. Yep. And just start sending shells out there and see what happens. Bridge, battery. This guy is coming closer to us. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. Fire, BLS. Bridge, battery, guns on hold. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. Let's see, what's he thinking about? Yep. Again, just forward and just slightly starboard. Con, Aha, uh -huh, we got... Master one. Last Master one. One, five. Yeah. Breaking up. That was a missile hit. That was a missile hit. Cool. Very cool indeed. Bridge, battery, guns on hold. Guy still trying to counter missiles. He's doing 42 knots. He is not slow. Gonna hit that sinking contact. Yeah, we're close to it. some of our gunfire. Again, we can't reliably engage him from this distance and with that uh, amount of speed between us.
Come right to. Zero, one, two, helm, I. Let's just see if we could perhaps overwhelm them. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. Notice turret three very wisely getting out of the fight before it starts to shoot our own superstructure. The guys in spot two probably would not appreciate that. But they haven't even really tried to return fire. It's some sporadic gunfire from them, but completely ineffective. Terra 3 will be coming back into the fight shortly enough. All right, there we go. Turret three coming back. And I say, what an impressive thing that had to be. They shoot down all of those TASMs. I think they did. Con, helm, steady course. I think they shot down all of those TASMs. Which is just absurd. Yeah, I'm seeing my splashes all the way back there. That's no good. Battery. Guns on hold. That's really no good. Unfortunate. Come left to three, three, six, helm I. Fire BLS.
Sending out some harpoons. Just to see if we could do anything about this Huang Fung ship. This thing right here is the uh, closest immediate threat to us. Yep, he shot down one. The missiles are just passing over top of them. They're going to hit that trawler, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to hit this trawler. It's an Icelandic flag trawler. Oh, dear. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Ah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. God damn it. First of all, an Icelandic flag trawler, what the hell are you doing in the Persian Gulf? Number two, I am so terribly sorry. I know the last time you guys were involved in a proper shooting war, you guys won. That was against the UK between the 50s and the early 80s, if I'm not mistaken. The Cod Wars, where they literally fought over fish. And uh, Little Iceland won. <laughs> However, we now have Iceland uh, that's going to be going to war with the United States. Sorry. Sorry. Very sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. However, um, he, uh, he found out. You don't go to the Persian Gulf and play with the uh, Chinese task force. Fire missile. Well, we got this Yukon ship thing, which is, uh, he better be starting to engage with his Sea Wiz, otherwise he's going to be in some trouble. There we go. Ah, of course. They're, they're really effective at shooting these things down. They're more effective than they should be. And our gunnery is just completely out of its element this far out. 35,000 yards, it is almost the limit of what we could do. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. But, I don't know, for, for what it is, we have certainly put a world of hurt on them. That Huang Fengxing thing is just getting on my nerves, though. I want to take him out. Because they clearly see me, just they're not doing anything about me. Let's see, he's got another one inbound. There's the splashes from our guns. Again, not really close enough. All right, harpoon, hit. Is he down and out? If he, ooh, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone, not much of a contest there. That is not recoverable.
Bridge, battery. Guns on hold. Bridge, battery. Guns engaging. We've got more missiles inbound now. Yeah. Let's see. Or maybe this one. He might be going here. We'll see. We're about to find out. I think he's going to be hit. He's not countering. Oh, yeah. Another hit right aft. Oh, almost all below the waterline. That is not recoverable. And, yep, pretty much immediately. Yeah. He's going to lose half of the lifeboats almost instantly. And, oh, yep. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. I do like how these ships are sinking in a way you would expect, though. He was hit on the port stern, and he is going down by the port stern. He may completely roll over. Yeah. There's even a little hang-up in the uh, settling as, I would suppose, different bulkheads are either holding or, or failing, depending on where the flooding's coming from. And then, of course, as the ship goes under, you're going to have the air pockets settle toward the bow. And any open hatches or whatever is just going to start blowing the air out of there. That's really interesting. And I hear another Sea Whiz going. Ah, that was so close, but he has another one inbound. He's got another one inbound. Where is he? I don't see him. There he is. Ah, just missed. Just barely missed. Do we have any more missiles inbound? Nope, not quite yet. on hold. Let's get those harpoons out there. They have one more TASM. Next is going to be we're going to have to try and engage him with Land attack missiles. We got two harpoons left as well. But he's got no more friends to counter for him. Except for this Huang Fang thing. Which we're gonna engage with some guns again. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. Not that we're gonna hit them, but we're gonna try. Huang Fung has been hit. Master, one. We hit him. Haha. Ha. Bye. That was gunfire, I think. Yeah. Goodbye. Meanwhile, this thing, he's going to be overwhelmed with missiles in about two seconds. He's countered one. Another one missed. Another one coming in. 
Those Talons are almost overhead. He hit closer than he wanted. He's shooting up at the Talons. Yikes. Come on, Harpoon. No. Bridge, battery, guns engaging. We just have not much to do in terms of where these things are going to go down. Just hope that one of them will randomly fall on him. Because our gunfire is just not much of an issue for him. Yeah, all these talons are just landing a little bit long. Some of our gunfire is getting a little closer, though. All right, we got a target destroyed. We got him. We overwhelmed him with missiles. Took 40 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, that is what you call one destroyed Chinese task force.
Yeah. What did these guys think they were going to be doing in the Persian Gulf? Heading north toward Kuwait? I don't know. And now nobody else will ever know either. All right. He is down, and we are absolutely none the worse for wear. Hull integrity is at 100%. Fantastic work, once again, by the mighty USS Iowa. There is no substitute for firepower on the high seas, which is why we absolutely ought to have battleships once again.